Hello, welcome back to Roy's the Boy. Now in this video today we are going to be doing, as you can see in the background, ultrasonic cleaning again. Uh, but on this one, a few weeks ago on my live stream, I said I was going to do a video on sort of like what other products you could use to uh, clean carburetors and other stuff in your ultrasonic cleaner. As the ultrasonic clean solutions are quite expensive. It's like this one here which I bought, which I have used before. Uh, you have seen in one of my previous videos. This uh, one litre bottle, this cost me £13 and I only really get uh, one, two, three, four, about, about five cleans using that solution, so, which can work out quite expensive. So I just wanted to see uh, if you could use any other um, products really. So I was given a, a list of things, that uh, suggestions that I could use. Uh, one of them was Coca-Cola. Uh, because I, I know it's good on stainless steel like raw uh, and just using it with um, say like a scouring pad on um, stainless steel really to get the rust off and it works uh, also someone said um, vinegar and baking soda uh, lime scale remover paintbrush cleaner uh, thinners petrol uh, which I know you can use as, as it is but I'm going to do it again as well but you pull it into a little jar and um, I don't know, I'm, I've got a couple more things in mind which I'm going to show. I don't have a lot of carburetors left, but what I do have, I do have some small radio control engines which are quite gunked up, uh, which I've been trying to sell, but no one's buying them because of the state of the outside of the engines. So let's go and have a look at it and see what we can do with them. Right, okay, so what you can see here first, this is, uh, this is a very, very, very tidy um, RC engine. So if I put it up against the, the length of my finger, you can tell this is very small. But if you can see, it is really gunked inside. It's really gunked with uh, nitro oil, um, which really clogs it up. And no one wants to buy that um, because it's, um, it's all gunk the way it is even though it, has, it does have plenty of compression on it um, I will I will take this um, glow uh, plug out as well uh, so it cleans in there as well um, I'm going to just stick it in as it is I mean even the carburetor the carburetor is it's just a little bit stiff really it should be going a lot more free than that so I'm going to put that in about halfway as you can see there uh, it's very very tiny I mean look at the size of that carburetor there that is just it's the size it's not it's smaller than my finger now um i'm also going to put uh the head of another engine in there uh just to see what it actually does to the insides because inside there there's a brass copper bit inside there so i want to see what it does to that and this is an old um tecumseh uh carburetor which is no good so i'm going to stick that in there as well and I want to see what it actually does to the metal. So what I'm going to use first on this one is I'm going to use um, the scaler. So I'll probably put a couple of cupfuls inside that, uh, these, this cup here, and we'll see how it goes. So I'll stick that in, stick everything in, and then uh, we'll start it off. Right, I'm going to stick this on for 30 minutes, but what I will do is I will stop it um, at 15 minutes roughly, and we'll see how it goes there. Right, okay, let's have a look. Well, that's a sign of good news because it, you see it's been bubbling and frothing and the water is looking dirty inside it. Right, okay. So, so far it hasn't, it's made the, the copper ring inside there go a bit darker. That ain't too bad on there. Let's have a look at the engine. It hasn't really done much to the engine at the moment. It's, it's cleaned up on this on this parts, and now scraping me now on there a little bit. It is bringing it off. It's, it's softened up all that gunk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it back in for the other thirty minutes, and uh, we'll see how we go. I did make a little mistake then, I said 30 minutes, I meant the other 15. Right, okay, so they've been in for 30 minutes. Now, what I have noticed for the extra 30 minutes, this is the carburetor on it, 
and what it has done as you can see it, it has made the metal go uh, a lot darker than what it really was uh, I did say this was a, an old carburetor so it didn't really matter uh, yeah, that, it's, it's actually made everything go a lot darker and now this is the now this is something I didn't put in I mean I didn't show before this was the um, exhaust from the uh, engine and this was really gunked up as well and what that has done it has actually cleaned I'm just wiping those around if I've just got a little toothbrush and but too long in there has made the engine go a lot darker than what I really wanted it to um, if I bring the head out of the of an engine which I said once again as well it's made that copper ring inside the head there go a lot darker uh, it has cleaned up the the engine you can see it's just coming off loose now if I just brush that in there now given that if I use that on an air cleaner I think that will be good and the same with um, the engine now the engine as you can see all that gunk once again all it needs is just a little bit of a, a brush in the water so if I dip that into there it is cleaning it up but don't leave the don't leave it in too much with this um, oh what is this one I've forgotten now lime scale remover <laughs> I completely forgot what I put on it um, let's have a look at the carburetor now the carburetor is moving a lot better than what it was uh, what I will do is I'll take this apart afterwards and what I'll do is I'll give this a really good blowout with the air cleaner and that should be right so that's number one um, descaler would you use it I don't think I would use it again um, because it has made that engine go a little bit darker than what I wanted to so once I do know is if you if you do use them for too much inside the um, ultrasonic cleaners it, it, it does make them go uh, discolor the the aluminium there so what well, it has cleaned it up I mean you can see around by the size of the head there it has cleaned all that gunk off so now I will go and give that a good old clean and with the air, airline and uh, we'll see what it's like when it come back Oh, okay so I have give that a nice clean now with the uh, air cleaner and literally everything just blew off so really the lime scale uh, remover <laughs> it has worked I mean that stuff is really really gunky um, oil fixed on there it's made the uh, engine go just a slightly darker color than what it should be but now that's done, been done I, I should be able to sell that one there Right, so next on the list here, we are going to use um, distilled uh, white vinegar and um, baking soda. So we'll try them and we'll see how we get on. Right, so once again, I'm going to use another radio controlled engine. Now, you've got to think that the other engine, it was as dirty as what this was. Uh, this is a slightly bigger engine. Uh, same as the exhaust pipe as well. It's all gunked up. Uh, to, I've tried getting these things up before just by um, using petrol it really didn't work so we'll stick those in and we'll see how we go right I've had to show you this one uh, you can see the it is really really fizzing inside there so hopefully this one, I'm only going to leave this one in for 15 minutes, so hopefully this one won't really, this one will come up a lot quicker. Okay, so these have been in for 15 minutes there. Now that water looks very, very, looks too clean to me now. Um, but we'll take these out and we'll have a look. Right, so let's have a look at this. Oh, so it's got a lot of water in it still. Same thing there more than anything else. Right, so it has took it off. But it is made it soft. If I scrape it with my fingers, 
yeah so it has made it very very soft so we, we get the um, toothbrush again and I'll just give that a little brush so that is cleaning that so what I will do is now I will leave that in for another 15 minutes let's even took that paint off there was some paint on there and as you can see I'm scraping it with my finger so really it, that is probably enough but it will need a bit more just to get this because uh, it's very oily stuff here so I'll stick it back in and put it in for another 15 minutes right okay so it's been in there now for 30 minutes uh, water is going a bit darker so what I'll do is I'll take the basket out and then we'll have a look right so we'll have a look at the engine good thing I'd like to say is it hasn't discolored the metal on it whatsoever at all uh, this is quite hard so it hasn't really took all the gunk off but it has cleaned all the dirt off so it, I think this would clean a carburetor no problem but because this is a uh, really got gunk on it so what I do is I'm just going to give that a brush with some more of the water, the water hot water and I think it will come up probably even with a, a little wire brush it has softened the metal up as you can see it is coming off so that's pretty good as well but I think that might even use need I should say need a little bit longer on that one so that's that one and so we're summarize later no, no way. and the exhaust pipe really as well yeah if I scrape it with me now it is coming off but it is going to need some uh, brushing up I think yeah it will come up with a good brush but this oil is really really bad really really bad so yeah you probably could use um uh white vinegar and baking soda and it's not just coloring the metal which is a good thing all right so the, ne the next one i'm going to try is someone else suggested on my uh live stream as well which i didn't write down as it happens i forgot uh is someone said they have good results using um screen wash so this is a concentrated one so I can dilute it with the water so what I'm going to try do, I'm going to put with this one is I'm going to put another RC engine here uh, which is really gunked up at the top as well um, so I'm going to put that one in I'm not too worried about that one because that engine does not work at all whatsoever well not yet uh, also I've got the exhaust pipe for it which is completely bad and also I've got um, a carburetor here from a quantum uh, Briggs and Stratton so um, I'm gonna, it is on the dirty side and it is pretty dirty there as well so I'm going to stick that in with it right so as you can see that water is really really blue now uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that upside down into the into that so we'll put that in there so I only need the bottom bit I want doing um, as the exhaust pipe, I shall put just drop that in. Oh, I actually set up on the right way. And because it's dirty on this side, I'm going to put that side in. Oh, it's fell over anyway, so it don't really matter. And we will stick that. I've got it on set on 15 minutes, and I will come back to you when it's done. Oh, right, okay. So those have been in for. 15 minutes now so what I'll do first we'll have a look at this carburetor um, now well now if you can remember that bit there that was absolutely clogged uh, with lime oh, it was brown wasn't it really really dirty so that really and it's cleaned all the inside there <laughs> that is a no-brainer on that one yeah well I will uh, I will give that a blowout. I ain't going to put that one back in. We'll have a look at the exhaust pipe now. Um, it hasn't done that much to it, as you can see. Uh, that's mainly because it's the gunk. What it's done again, it has softened the 
all the oil but for using it for a carburetor yes screen wash yeah I'm, I'm gonna give that a go really let's have a look at the top of the engine on this one get some water out of this that's it um, it hasn't taken nothing off of it but it, it has I think it's probably the heat that's hot softened that as well so the best one I've, I've seen actually for the engine is the lime scale so far yeah get some more water out of that yeah this engine's no good so I'm not too worried about it um, it's got a broken does it open up yeah all that exhaust pipe wasn't any good uh, exhaust sorry that carburetor there it was stiff so right so that's that one there um, I'm not going to put these back in I'm not going to put it in for another uh, 15 minutes but for a carburetor uh, screen wash yes I would it is, it's darkened the actual metal a little bit in on the inside there but it has cleaned everything out I'm going to give it a blowout um, and then maybe this carburetor might be used again because this one wasn't any good so we could always try it again right so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna do another little RC engine it's no bigger than my uh, little finger there as, as, as you can see it's very gunked up again um, I've taken the head off of this one as well because I want to clean inside I want to keep this engine so what I'm gonna try this time is I'm gonna use petrol uh, so you don't really want to use all that petrol in here just for a small engine like that uh, because you'll be using a lot and you, once the temperature is off as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the engine uh, inside this plastic container and then it, it will just float on top of the what the water that's in it and that will just do the same because it's actually the vibration of bubbles which does everything because it's contacted to the water as well it will do it so I will stick this inside there I will fill it up with petrol and then uh, we'll come back and we'll do it right okay so that's it that's in there it's covered all the engine I've turned the temperature right down on it it's on there for 15 minutes so let's stick it on and see how we go with it I don't think I'm gonna be able to put the lid on it because the bulbs too big um, I mean the bottles the jars too big so I'll try and get it now I can't get it on there at all so I'm gonna have to leave that so it's cold water so it don't really matter uh, I could have got away with a, a smaller jar, but I haven't got any. So and plus, you'd use uh, less petrol as well. And as you can see straight away inside it, you can see the bubbles fizzling inside. We'll leave it on just for a second, a minute, and then we, we'll come back to you. I actually got this tip uh, by using this uh, jar method from. Um, Steve Small Engine Saloon um, so that's another great channel so go and check him out as well right I've stopped it after 15 minutes now as you can see the water it's discoloured where I had it on its side like that uh, the seal on the lid um, did not last too long so I, st I stood it up right I could have done that from the start as it happens um, I didn't I thought it might have floated but let's take it out just for the moment now and what I'm going to do is I just want to have a look at the engine um, it might need it doesn't seem very dirty in there so in the petrol so I'm going to take the engine out what I had to do before I had to take the adjusting needle off the carburetor because I couldn't get it in um, well it has it's sort of cleaned it really it hasn't done it I don't know about the head, I don't know if the, uh, the brush will clean it anymore. It doesn't seem like it's doing too good on, on this um, gunk, but I'm sure it would clean a carburetor. So I'm going to stick that back in there, if I can get that in. I've got other bits in there as well. Uh, and then I will leave it on for another 15 minutes. Now I've only got this in cold water, uh, because I don't want the petrol to get too hot because uh, petrol and heat doesn't work does it so we'll, we'll give that another go for 15 minutes and we'll see what happens when it afterwards 
so this has been in here now for 30 minutes and I still don't think it's done much take this out of here no it's better Let's put that to one side just for a minute now part about that just hit the uh, camera just give that a little scrape with your finger and really no it hasn't really done much to it it's cleaning the outside a bit of it just a bit not too much so really I don't think that is really I, I don't think I would actually use petrol again it seemed a good good idea at the time what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it I'm just gonna leave that in there now for a few days because I want to use that engine um, leave it in there and hopefully over time that will clean itself if it doesn't then I think I will get the um, either the screen wash or the uh, lime scale remover and as you know everyone's worked so petrol no I won't use petrol again so the next products I'm going to be using in the, in the cleaner is uh, washing up liquid and lemon juice I've been told mixing those two together uh, also helps uh, what I'm going to stick in the car um, in the cleaner this time is it's another old uh, Tecumseh engine which it's got some rust on there and some gunk on there uh, more limes well, well, scowled really uh, just to see how, how it does uh, I've got another another small engine with the head like it as well I don't have a lot of carburetors left to put in there um, I do have another big engine in here I'll see what I can get in there so let's stick them in and see how they do right okay so I actually put um also put a float bow in uh, which did have some uh, well if, as you can see some lime scale inside it there well not lime scale but dirt but, um, it has cleaned it up better than what it was I should say uh, let's have a look at this carburetor um, it has cleaned it better than what it was of course it's hot it hasn't really took it off as much up there and the rust bit all it's done is made the rust go black uh, let's have a look at the engines all oh, these engines are hot <laughs> right so we'll have a little scrape well it's well yeah it, it's doing better than some of the other pro products I mean all I've got to do is give those a nice little brush and that is sort of coming off uh, and a good thing about the um, washing up liquid and the lemon juice is it's not discolouring the actual metal at all if anything it's giving it a bit of a shine <laughs> Uh, but it hasn't done that's only 15 minutes uh, so what I'll do is I'll stick those in for another 15 minutes and um, see if they come up but I have to say but this these engines here uh, it's nitro fuel which is burnt and it's only from the exhaust and everything and it coming out which is making it all uh, gunky up like this so washing up liquid ends um, lemon juice maybe on carburetors yes uh, but not on engines or engine parts which are really gunked up and solid right okay so <laughs> I wasn't gonna do the coca-cola but once <laughs> since I bought it I will do uh, this bottle of coca-cola I think it's about one pound fifty so there's a litre and a half in there uh, so I put it already in I'm going to wait for it to warm up. Uh, once it's warmed up, I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in it. Well, right, so what I'm going to be putting in this uh, one with the Coca-Cola is I've just found an old carburetor and opened it up and it is gunked up really, really bad there uh, and the inside of it. And if I turn over the, the bowl, the bowl's had it. Uh, this is an old carburetor. So uh, I just want to see what this Coca-Cola can actually do to that. Also for the weight, because it hasn't filled it right up at all, is I've got this old boss, which is broken, it's no good, it's just, it snapped in a couple of places there. Uh, it is dirty on the, on the outside, I, I want to see if it does anything to that, 
and I want to see if it, what it actually does to the metal and also what also I'm going to put in is one of those RC engines which are no good anymore um, which something else didn't get off I want to see if it does anything else to this um, nitro fuel at all so that's what I'm going to put it in I'll put those in uh, get it going for 15 minutes and then I'll come back when they're done right okay I actually left those in for uh, 30 minutes I did have a look after 15 minutes uh, but they didn't really do much good so first of all I'm going to look at this blade boss um, it has cleaned some, some of the parts off it doesn't clean it as much as some of the other materials have all it's really is just soak the dirt so coca-cola for that bit um, hasn't really done much we'll look at the engine um, what has it done for this really I could scrape that a little bit but scraping it very very hard so it's done nothing against the, uh, the actual nitro fuel which is gunked all over it uh, the carburetor itself um, no it hasn't the oil and grease is still on it so it hasn't really done nothing it's good for some things in uh, but it certainly ain't good for cleaning in uh, carburetors uh, in ultrasonic cleaners uh, we'll have a look underneath the, the bowl now uh, as you can see that, that that's virtually done nothing to it it hasn't helped at all whatsoever so no coca-cola really uh, is a no-go on that one so there you are these, these are the products i used i used a lime scale remover i've used coca-cola uh, i've used uh, washing up liquid with lemon juice uh, distilled white vinegar and baking soda and screen wash uh, out of the best of them the things I've, the ones i think that really have done a good job is the screen wash i think is the better one for me and consider this uh, is undiluted and it, it only costs two pounds and there's quite a lot on it and i only use a little drop uh, i could have probably even used less so that that's going to be a uh, I think I'm going to try that uh, out a lot more. Um, the lime scale remover uh, that did a very, very good job. Uh, discolored the um, carburetors and the engines, I should say. Um, the lemon juice and the uh, washing up liquid really, um, they probably do a job in a carburetor, uh, but to me, they didn't really do much for me, so no and the white vinegar and baking soda yeah they did a job but uh, also uh, discolored the um, metal as well so there you have it that's uh, all there is really on this uh, video oh no right no right so really <laughs> um i think i might even uh, buy another bottle of this uh, for very heavy stuff as well so i think i will stick to some of this and the actual screen wash i think for these two for me in in the future so there you are on this one so thank you very much for watching uh, if you did like this video please give us a thumbs up uh, don't forget to uh, hit that uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that little uh, notification bell down the bottom in the grey hit the grey uh, button and then uh, or the grey bell I should say and then you know when I'm doing something else so until next time thank you very much and cheerio